Hello and welcome to the Electrical Engineering Bootcamp. In this video, I am going to talk about the functions and types of a substation. Purpose of a substation. Substations generally serve as the central source of a distribution from which the area it serves. It lowers voltage from tr the transmission line, which is usually from 69 kV to 512 kV, into distribution voltage, which is the range is from 4 kV to 25 kV. There are other functions of a substation, and some of those are um, to collect measurements of various parts of the system, um, to have protection mechanism installed for feeders, as well as having switch connections between transmission lines. Now for the last point, um, these are usually when substations have switching me uh, mechanisms for transmission lines, these are usually called switching stations. Now, let's talk about what a uh, typical substation look like. Well, a typical substation normally contains a step-down transformer to um, step the transmission voltage down to distribution voltage. They also contain high voltage switches, circuit breakers, as well as lightning arresters. Usually, most of the equipment is outside However, there are more and more substations where it is entirely indoors, especially found in more urban areas. They're usually cabinets of relays and are RTUs for controlling the protection mechanisms. Now, these are usually going to be found within station buildings, regardless whether or not other huge equipments are outside or indoors. Now, how is a substation being chosen as to where it should be located? Well, it's um, to be most optimal if the substation is being built close to the center of the area it is distributed as possible because then you would have the most shortest length of feeders needed to distribute to its customers. However though, um, there are other factors that needs to be considered such as um, the availability and cost of land as well as future potential load growth of the location it is serving. Now lastly, what I want to talk about are something called the unit substation. These are metal enclosed units that are factory built um, and can only support a limited amount of feeders. However, um, these units are generally much smaller than their official substation counterparts and can be also be mounted on a huge trailer for mobile solution. So these are actually great options um, for uh, mobile trouble response support if there are emergency outages that you need to resume service as soon as possible or if you want to supply it as a temporary service to some customers then a unit substation um, with certain amount of mobility is the solution to go. I hope you enjoy um, this episode uh, in the electrical engineering boot camp and if you wish to connect with me um, I would be more than happy to show you more in the electrical engineering world. Um, for the latest news in the world of electrical engineering, please, please connect me with me through Twitter, which my handle is at EEBootCamp. 
and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the latest free training videos for you to have um, uh, more knowledge about electrical engineering and the various industries that are in the electrical engineering world. Lastly, if you wish to connect with me on LinkedIn, please send me a link of your profile to eebootcamp at yahoo.com. And after I receive um, the link to your profile, I will send you a personal invite to connect in LinkedIn. Again, thank you for your time. Have a good one. Bye for now.